spent almost $600 at the Reformation sample sale like two days ago and I'm finally building up the courage to show you guys my damage. Please don't judge me for this. I made a mistake. You guys know that I love thrifting. I love doing thrift hauls. I like going out showing you guys my thrift trips. But no amount of competitive thrifting could have ever gotten me prepared for this very day that I literally shopped until I almost dropped. Part of this $600 was actually my mom's. So she wanted some things and I purchased them. So in the end, I st still was $600 lighter, but she's going to eventually pay me back thankfully because I probably would not have made that mark. I actually came in an hour before opening and I thought I might be one of the first like 20 people there. And uh, boy, was I wrong. There were probably 60 people ahead of me <laughs> when I got there. And I even had a subscriber tell me that she was waiting on that line for three and a half hours. So kind of in a way, going there the first day and also going an hour before opening saved my ass. But we did have really good deals, especially on the Reformation top. I'll put the chart on the screen, but some of the prices that I can remember from the top of my head, woven tops were $40, I believe. Knit tops were 30, dresses were $100, at least the longer ones were. And and for just $5 less, you could get a short dress. So yes, the short dresses were $95. Probably could have been like $65 instead of $95, but that's just me. I'm pretty sure that they ended up selling out of everything anyway. The sample sale was supposed to last for six days. It only lasted for, I think today's the last day actually. So third day and they're already almost out. My friend went on the second day and she said everything left was pretty much trash so as far as my experience went I actually think that most people were pretty cordial just make sure not to grab everything that you see because I have that thrifting mentality where I want to grab everything that I can before somebody else picks it up and so I just kept grabbing things in case somebody would get my size and then I wouldn't see it again and next thing you know I had like 30 articles of clothing on my arms and some of them were gowns so pretty damn heavy I started to like not feel my arms and I could not move. There are only 10 items that are allowed in the fitting room. Could you even call it that? Because when I finally got into the fitting room and I finally sorted through everything, I don't even know how I managed to do that. It was like a room of like seven other girls all cramped into one and I kid you not, they had sprayed it with this poisonous perfume. I was coughing, I was sneezing, I was gagging because it was so strong and I'm assuming it's because there were so many girls in there that it started to smell like BO or something. Aside from the smell, uh, there was only one mirror on one side of the room and I uh, rubbed my butt against one other girl that was like right behind me because we were changing and there was no space. So if you don't mind that, then sample sales are definitely worth it. I kept the receipts for you guys right here. I have three because I bought things on three different occasions. Thankfully, let me check in my shopping bags because I got my mom's stuff first and then I got my stuff, getting rid of things that I had on my arms so that way I would have 10 items to actually go and try on myself in the fitting room. So first receipt was for $140. I got myself a top because I knew that I wanted this top like right away when I saw it. And then I got my mom a dress, so that was $140 to that. The second receipt was for $100. I got my mom a second jumper. <sighs> so gorgeous. I think that my mom's things were actually some of my favorites. I'll show it to you guys in a little bit. And then the very last one was for $320 when I actually got myself the things that I wanted. So in total, everything came out to $560. I thought it was $580 for some reason, but no. The total was $560, so I spent almost just shy of $600 on the Reformation sale. I guess I'm gonna start off with the thing that I'm wearing right now since you guys already see it, but it's this beautiful, vintage-y looking top that kind of reminds me of like an ice cream parlor or something. But I kind of like love the colors that are on this, so I'm gonna use that as inspiration for a manicure. It could be perfect to wear with like high-waisted, jeans or trousers like I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing my mint green corduroy trousers that I got from the Goodwill. I could just see myself wearing this on like, I don't know, a walk in the park or something because it's very casual but still is really cute. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on with some tops that I found. I have this thermal 
esque top. It's ribbed and it's got this speckled oatmeal y fabric. And my favorite part about it is this seemingly circular neckline with these ruffles. And I say seemingly because it's actually a bit squared when you put it on. So it's very flattering to the collarbones. Perfect for layering for more of the fall time since it is getting really hot right now. The next top I'm going to show you guys is the first top that I ended up getting for myself. I saw it in the hanger and automatically just thought that is so me. I'm obsessed with it. It has these big bold polka dots all over it. A little bit wrinkled right now so excuse that. And then it has these ruffles that go up until like the elbow. So beautiful and it's a wrap top so you just stick it into like a hole that's right here on the side seams, wrap it up, put a little bow on it and you're all set. It also has this kind of like skirt ruffling kind of peplumy at the bottom. Peplumy, just making words up one step at a time. And like I said before, blouses are $40. So this one was only $40. And uh, yeah, there really isn't much else to say about it. I have been lusting over this top for the past, I think year and a half now, and they sold out. And that's it. There were no more tops left. I kept checking to see if somebody had returned this beauty and nobody ever did. I got lucky to find, I'm pretty sure the one and only Celestia top has it in handwritten letters and everything because this top is actually a physical sample. Like this was never in a store to sell at all. This was something that they made and probably used to show factories to show them what they wanted the rest of the Celestia tops online to look like. I'm obsessed with like Victorian tops and to me, this is like the epitome of a modern day Victorian blouse. Overall, this is just a very gorgeous romantic top. It just reminds me of something that Marie Antoinette probably would have just been strolling around on a prairie with. So now we're done with the tops. I have my beautiful magical overalls that I picked up and almost didn't pick up. My friend Dynasty actually told me that I probably shouldn't pick these up because they have a lot of these at thrift stores and she's right, but I've never had such luck at the thrift store with overalls. Like they're either too tight fitting or they're too baggy. And so there's never really an in-between, but these right here are like the perfect in-between. They've got a slight straight leg going on which I really enjoy and I love the square neckline. I think it's very chic and my favorite part about this is the exposed zipper that goes down the center front. So I think we're gonna get married and go to our honeymoon in Hawaii and have four kids and um, I'm never gonna take these off because they are just amazing and they go really well with everything that I have. Like I tried it on with this blouse that I'm wearing right now and they are just like a match made in heaven. I showed them to my friend together and she said that I reminded her of Jackie from That 70s Show, which is always a win. I even tried it with my little Celestia top and thought they were the perfect juxtaposition between masculine, casual, and Marie Antoinette, prairie girl, frolicking somewhere. The next two are some that I picked up from my mom and she really wanted something that was a little bit fitted at the top and more flared at the bottom, which Reformation actually has a lot of. I found this gorgeous burgundy dress. It's like a wine deep color with these little flowers on it. Honestly, my heart is torn because I wish I tried this on myself too, like a different one, because it just looks so good on me. Like I'm not even just trying to gas myself up. This is like the quintessential Reformation dress. It's got the very cute little ditzy print. It's long, the fabric is just divine, but it's a really nice, like smooth, slightly textured one. And the sleeves are a little bit puffed here, which is really, really cute. It's so flattering on I'm pretty sure any body type because it just kind of accentuates the bust a little bit and then it flares out into this beautiful long skirt. And then the next dressy thing that we have isn't actually a dress, it's more of like a jumpsuit or it's not like a jumpsuit, it is a jumpsuit. <laughs> it's got this beautiful ivory orangey yellow pattern going on with these big bold flowers that is just so romantic. Love these little ruffles that it has along the armhole. And one of my favorite parts about this is the low back. It just swoops on up right on top of the booty and it has these little ties here or it actually just one tie that goes along the back and just gives it that very nice delicate touch that I am so living for $100. So now we are on to the very last piece in this crazy reformation sample sale haul. And I must say that I love this dress. I think it's beautiful, but I might just regret it 
a little bit because it's one of those things that you only wear to fancier events and I'm the kind of girl that just loves wearing my favorite clothing on a daily basis so I might just wear this outside and I might get many people asking me "Ooh, where are you going today or oh you look fancy and I'm just gonna say I wore it just because and I'm gonna walk away and wear it proudly because I love it so much and that is where my iffiness goes with it I think that it's just not as wearable of a dress as the other two dresses that I showed you guys but it's okay I'm gonna accept her for who she is so I got myself this little slip it's very cute it's got this creamy color with these gorgeous little dainty flowers all over the print the silhouette on this is very slinky and nice and it just kind of slides onto the body it's got like this very nice V cut that just kind of accentuates the boobies and then <laughs> why did I say it like that it has a very low back which I love I think it's so beautiful and it has these little ties like the last one but it also has a tie at the very top too so it kind of helps it from falling off your shoulders I actually have a few events going on in a little bit in the future so you guys might be able to see me wearing this out and about I saw this in like multiple solid colors but this one is my favorite because it has a little print going on it's very vintagey very soft very feminine and so beautiful so I love this just the same even though I probably won't get to wear it as often so my loves that is it for the possibly biggest mistake of my life or maybe it wasn't I had a lot of fun showing you guys these pieces but I don't think I had fun the day of the sample sale because I mentioned this but right after I came out of that sample sale I went straight to my bed and I knocked out for like four hours because I just my body could not take that amount of pressure but if you enjoyed this video of my very irresponsible splurges make sure to give this video a like and let me know your very favorite piece that I picked up down below because I would genuinely love to know thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel it really means so much to me that you guys took the time to watch this video and I hope you all have a lovely day. I'm gonna go now because I have to do some stuff today, so bye! <laughs> Look at this boba. She's so cute. Say hi! Uh -huh. I love you so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.